Uh, I'm Sophie. I live in Philly. And I used to work at Goldie. I was fired in the middle of November for showing solidarity with Palestine and also for refusing to discipline a co-worker for doing the same by wearing a Palestine flag pin. I worked there for more than two years. Um, I started out as a front of house worker hourly. And over my years there, I worked up to being one of the store managers. Uh, over that time, I only got positive feedback, really. I never been disciplined, never had any issues like that. Um, that was until I started dissenting from the company's silence about the genocide in Gaza. I felt compelled to speak up against the company while I still worked there because they held a big fundraiser, raising more than $100,000 for this group called United Hatzla of Israel. They presented it to us as nonpartisan, non-military aligned, just an EMS group like the Red Cross. Um, but I did a little bit of research just looking on their own webpage and on their Instagram and very quickly found they proudly provide supplies and aid to the IDF, which I thought was unacceptable and wasn't something that I could be a part of. So I said that I wouldn't take part in work that day. When I came back to work after refusing to do the fundraiser, I still felt like I needed to do something to show solidarity. So I showed up to work wearing a Palestine flag pin. I mean, I felt so distraught thinking about how this fundraiser had, in a way, implicated all my coworkers um, who are all caring people who don't want to see violence. Um, it felt like they had all been implicated in supporting Israel in a way. And I've been inundated with the videos and the stories out of Gaza and just seeing the courage of people in the worst possible circumstances. A few days went by without incident until the company put out a new policy that had never been an issue before saying that we were forbidden to wear any kind of pin or patch that wasn't goldy branded. I wore the pin anyway in defiance of the policy, and I was sent home for the day. Um, I had to take a day off of work, but I realized I do need a job, so I went back to work without the pin on. A coworker still had his on, and I did not discipline him. I let him keep wearing it because I would never, as a manager, censor somebody that I work with for showing their heartfelt belief in human rights. It's just not something I would ever consider. Um, and because I didn't send him home for wearing the pin, I was fired and he was fired at the same time as me. When I saw the protests, I felt really distraught to see how politicians and other people on social media had been misconstruing it by saying that Goldie had been targeted for being a Jewish owned business, um, which is not true. They were targeted for the positions they've taken for Israel, for Zionism. Um, I also think that the way people have been equating anti Zionism with anti Semitism is very insulting to the protesters who are people who care about justice in Palestine, who want to see peace. Many of them are Jews themselves um, and just generally are people who want an end to the occupation, not any form of violence. And as a former worker at Goldie, I support the protesters. I support calling out the company's complicity in the occupation. And I think the protesters are voicing real concerns about how Goldie's ownership, um, which is pretty prominent in the Philadelphia restaurant community. Um, it's not some small business. It's a large company that owns a lot of stores across Philly and is expanding. Um, I think the protesters have valid concerns about how they're using their profits, which are considerable, and their platform as well. Um, I also think this connects to a bigger issue about the so-called Palestine exception to free speech, where we're seeing workers all over the country who are being disciplined or fired or silenced for speaking up for Palestine. 
Um, in Philly, there was a sports writer who was fired, like really abruptly for posting a pro-Palestine tweet, which is just ridiculous. I think especially as Americans whose taxpayer dollars are going to fund a genocide right now, the least we can do is stand up and refuse to send one more bomb. No one should be getting censored um, or retaliated against for calling out the occupation or any other injustice that they see in their workplace or the world.